Jim Riley, I'm with the Indiana State Police. I'm the public information officer from the Lafayette Post. Steve Mullen, Delphi Police Department, Chief of Police. Topolaz, I'm the Carroll County Sheriff. Basically, we're going to make this, it's going to be short and sweet. We don't have that much at this point in time. Uh, basically, what we've got, uh, we have found uh, two bodies. Um, is that the Sugar Creek? Deer Creek. Creek. Deer Creek, sorry. In Deer Creek, uh, about a mile east of town. Um, we are investigating this as, as a uh, crime scene. Uh, we suspect foul play. Uh, we have not made positive identification of the two bodies, so we're not going to be releasing any information on them at this point in time. On Tuesday, February 14, 2017, approximately two hours after a press conference announcing the discovery of the bodies of Liberty German and Abigail Williams was held at City Hall in Delphi, Indiana, a local resident named Richard Allen phoned a conservation officer whom he knew. The officer was Thomas D. Skinner, who lived in Lafayette and he was in Delphi assisting in the search for the missing girls that day, having spent his career as a dedicated and well-respected conservation officer for the state of Indiana. Allen met Skinner at the Wallman's Grocery Store, located northeast of the courthouse in Delphi. According to the probable cause affidavit, Allen told Skinner that he was on the trails between 1.30 and 3.30 p.m., on February 13th, and he parked at the old Farm Bureau building. While at the Freedom Bridge, he saw three females. He walked from the Freedom Bridge to the High Bridge. He did not take any photos or videos. Alan came forward as a witness to the three girls that day. He did not say he was on the bridge itself, and he did not tell Skinner what clothing he was wearing. Allen never told authorities what he was wearing that day until he was interviewed on October 13, 2022. The day after Allen met Skinner on Wednesday, February 15, 2017, Sergeant Kim Riley of the Indiana State Police released a photo of a man authorities felt was a witness and appealed for him to come forward. Allen never came forward again. The witness statement that Mr. Skinner took from Richard Allen was never lost. Unfortunately, Mr. Skinner passed away in 2021, but his family and fellow DNR officers will no doubt be proud of the statement he took that fateful day in 2017. Mr. Skinner's work was an important component in securing the arrest of Richard Allen.